Within a day or two, a message came from Helen that she had been granted seven days compassionate leave and that she would catch a train to London that weekend. Needless to say, I was overjoyed. As yet, I had not been officially demobbed and therefore had no ch civilian clothes that fitted me. I turned up in my uniform on the Saturday afternoon at King's Cross Station to await Helen's arrival. Of course, I was there in plenty of time. The train was not due until about five o'clock and you might say I was a bag of nerves. After all, we had only been engaged for a few days in 1941 and to meet again over four years later made me wonder whether seeing each other after all that time the old magic would still be there. I personally on my part had no doubt but I was worried whether Helen felt the same. Although I had some reassurance in the fact that she had waited for me for all those years. I stood by the platform barrier and in due course the train from the north steamed in. The carriage doors were flung back and to my reckoning about 300 members of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force resplendent in their blue uniforms alighted and streamed towards the barrier. Of course, all the wafts were mixed up with other passengers and that made it even more difficult as I looked for one specially corporal in blue. I need not have worried. We spotted each other simultaneously and with smiles and tears. The, corp the corporal and the sergeant clung together in what is now known as the big clinch.